Hey, Snails here. Welcome to chapter 3 of this series, where we'll look at the Entity tool. In Hammer, look for this icon in the toolbar. This is your Entity tool. The Entity tool allows you to place down entities such as props, lights, sounds, and different map controllers to name a few. We'll be focusing on props, lights, and sounds for this tutorial. Click the Entity tool. And just like the overlay tool, nothing happens until you place it in your 3D view. Double click it, and a window titled Object Properties will come up. There's a lot here, but for now, head to the class box and type prop underscore static as shown. Now, head down and look for a bar titled World Model. Double click it, and a window will come up titled Model Browser. Head down and look for the filter box. Here we can filter out a prop we want. I'll search for dust underscore crate for dust to crate props. Double click the prop you want and click apply. Now you can close the window to see the prop you placed down. Like the overlay tool, you can transform it. However, the only transformation option that works is the rotate one. What if the prop I'm using is too small or too big? If your prop is in the desired size, you can easily change it by double clicking the prop, head down to the uniform scale override bar, click it, look to the right for this bar, and change it to the desired size. Now let's look at a lighting entity. The light entity we're going to use is simply just called light. All the options here are mainly user preference depending on the scene you want to create. However, I do not recommend changing brightness HDR and brightness scale HDR in any light entity as it usually breaks lighting. Finally, we'll look at a sound entity. There are a few different sound entities but mainly you'll be using this one called ambient underscore generic. All these settings are user preference. You will notice that there's a yellow circle around your entity in all four views. This circle represents the max audible distance for the player and can be changed by dragging the white boxes up or down. Now that you've made it to the end of chapter three, you should have a better understanding of the Entity tool. And if you liked the tutorial, consider subscribing and liking the video, and I hope to see you in Chapter 4, where we'll look at viz groups and how to use them. Bye for now.